Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mahesh Shinde. Uh, you must have heard about open educational resources from different sources. In this video and its subsequent part, I am going to talk about open educational resources. The objectives of this video and the subsequent of this video are to see what OER is, why OER is beneficial, what are the characteristics of OER, what are the types of OER and some great resources of OER. So in this presentation we are going to see these two uh, first two part and remaining three we are going to see in next part of the video. The concept of OER is based on the philosophic view of knowledge as a collective social product and the desirability of making it a social property. Now open educational resources, it, it is based on the philosophic concept that knowledge belongs to society and it should remain with society. The other definition, the other base of the concept of OER is the simple and powerful idea that the world's knowledge is a public good and that technology in general and the world wide web in particular provides an extraordinary opportunity for everyone to share, use and reuse that particular knowledge. Now let us see what OER is, definition of OER. Now open educational resources are defined as digitized materials offered freely and openly for all educators, students and self-learners for using and reusing for various purposes such as teaching, learning and research. So what we understand from this is digitized material used by all kinds of learners for the purpose of teaching learning. Open educational resources, the other definition says, is are the teaching, learning and resource research materials in any medium that reside in the public domain or have been released under an open license that permit that permits no cost access, use, adaptation and redistribution by others. Now, pause the video and just think on what might have enabled OER. What are the benefits? of using OER. Just pause the video and write your responses in your notebook. Now you must have got some responses on the reflection questions. Let us see ahead why the OER. Now OER makes us sharing beyond the classroom. So this particular image explains traditional sharing of teaching material where educator creates some material, learning activity or resources and shares with students and other faculty restricted to his or her own environment or let us say classroom. But what OER has made possible is sharing educational resources in along with clearing of copyright issues, formatting for web and accessibility for reuse, additional descriptive material, publishing in a repository, repertory or on the web. For example, this, so what, what the traditional educator does now designates as OER web. It is available to other faculty, students and institutions. Other educators can now discover and reuse that. So the horizon is open when you convert your educational material into open OER. What are the benefits of OER? Number one, they are digital, open and free. We can use that. Anybody can, anybody can use this. No or less product cost. Either it will cost very less or it will not cost at all easily available anyone can access those use those anywhere anytime they are downloadable and adaptable they are durable in the sense once we record that and upload on the internet it can be saved there for as many as long as we want it is flexible that is we can update that and we can reuse that benefits the learners with different pace that is for a slow learner who is not getting all the information as the fast learner is getting, the OER is most useful because it he can use he or she can use at as per his or her pace. What has enabled OER socially the open source software movement and the open access movement, technically the internet web 2.0 technology, 
legally there are so many there are so many development of alternative licensing systems such as creative commons and financially support received from philanthropic foundations and new business models so what we have seen in this video is concept and definition oer benefits and what has enabled oer what we are going to see in subsequent video what are the characteristics types and some resources of oer thank you and watch the next video for further information